Hey there, fellow tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some exciting news for all you Linux aficionados out there. That's right, it's time to dive into the latest release of the Linux kernel version 6.9. Now, if you're like me, you're always eager to see what improvements and enhancements the brilliant minds behind Linux have cooked up this time around. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So what can you expect from Linux kernel 6.9? Well, for starters, it's important to note that this isn't a long-term support, LTS release. Instead, it serves as a crucial interim release, laying the groundwork for future updates, including Linux 6.10. But for now, let's focus on what Linux kernel 6.9 has to offer. Ah, AMD. It seems like they're always pushing the envelope when it comes to performance enhancements. And with Linux kernel 6.9, they're at it again. One of the standout features is the support for AMD Preferred Core, which prioritizes the use of higher-performing cores for tasks that demand more horsepower. Plus, we've got the FRU Memory Poison Manager on board, ensuring that any faulty memory issues are carried over across boots. And let's not forget about AMD's Secure Nested Paging, SNP, a welcome addition indeed. Now, let's shift our focus to the fine folks over at Intel. With Linux Kernel 6.9, there's a slew of refinements aimed at improving the overall user experience. Fast boot support on older platforms ensures quicker boot times, while reworked x86 CPU topology code sets the stage for better hybrid CPU support. And who could overlook the debut of Intel's FRED architecture? It's all about boosting performance and efficiency, especially for those rocking Intel Meteor Lake chips. Last but certainly not least, let's talk about ARM. Rust support for ARM64 is a game-changer, opening the door for future Rust-based kernel code implementations. And with Rust 1. 76.0 in tow, the possibilities are endless. But that's not all. Linux kernel 6.9 introduces support for a plethora of new hardware, from MediaTek processors to Chromebooks and beyond. It's a win-win for ARM enthusiasts everywhere. Of course, Linux kernel 6.9 isn't just about the big-ticket items. There's a laundry list of other changes and improvements that deserve a mention. From zoned block device support to faster boots for systems with massive amounts of RAM, there's something here for everyone. And let's not forget about the retirement of AMD's free sync video mode, a sign of the times as compositors take the reins. Now I know what you're thinking. How can I get my hands on Linux kernel 6.9? Well, if you're rocking a rolling release distro like Arch, or a stalwart like Fedora, you'll get those updates delivered straight to your doorstep. But if you're itching to dive in right away, you can always grab the tarball from the official website and start tinkering to your heart's content. And there you have it, folks. A comprehensive look at Linux kernel 6.9 and all the goodies it brings to the table. As always, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and leave a comment letting us know your thoughts. Until next time, happy coding!